Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be running you through my favourite beauty products from the month of April. It's been a bit of a weird month because I feel like a lot of the products that I have been loving I have already talked to you about, so some parts of this may feel repetitive but there are a few new things in here as well. So I'm going to get started with some nail polishes and it feels like I haven't actually worn nail polish in a single video this month. I've just been in a really bad habit of picking my nail varnish off and I always seem to do it before I film again, so I have been wearing nail polish but it just doesn't look like it on camera. At the beginning of the month I was really loving Essie Fiji which is a really beautiful pastel pink. The only thing I don't really like about this is that it takes so many coats to be opaque and then it takes a while to dry so I definitely have to have a lot of spare time when I paint this one on. But it is a really beautiful colour and so worth it if you love a pastel pink. And then we come to the other end of the nail spectrum and this is one from Barry M. It's one of their quick dry polishes which really are very quick in their drying time, it's amazing. I've been wearing the shade Pit Stop which I love, it is the most beautiful kind of grey purpley colour, it's just absolutely stunning and it's just a really nice kind of spring but not too spring-like, not too pastel-y kind of nail polish. It actually matches my top really nicely as well. Should have painted this one on today. <laughs> there are a lot of really beautiful colours in this range and I've been loving this one so I can definitely see myself picking up quite a few more of these. And then my most recent favourite is the Sephora Formula X nail polish in Unmistakable which is a beautiful kind of minty bluey green but it's kind of a little bit more muted so it's not too bright, not too pastel not too in your face. So it's just a kind of perfect spring colour without being too cliche or too girly and the drying time on this is amazing. It's very very watery which I wasn't expecting as I was applying it and I was a bit scared that it was just going to go really gloopy but it dried really really quick and I'm guessing that's because it is so watery but it went opaque in two coats and I was majorly impressed with this so I definitely want to pick up some more of these when I go to Sephora next. So those were my three nail polish favourites from this month and now I have three favourite foundations from this month. The first one has been my favourite for everyday wear this month, this is the Chanel CC Cream and I have the shades 20 beige and 30 beige and at the moment I'm kind of a mixture of both. And this is just a really dewy lightweight base with amazing coverage and I have just used this kind of every day that I'm not really doing too much or going anywhere special but I still want a bit of coverage on my skin and I love the fact that it has SPF 50 because some days I just don't know what I'm going to be doing that morning. I might take Nala for a walk and then end up doing something else outside and end up being in the sun all morning and not have SPF on my face so when I've got this on I know that my skin is still protected. So I've been loving that a lot and then I've also been loving the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation and this is amazing on its own, it's got really really high coverage and it's very very matte which means it kind of smooths over your pores and makes your skin look really really flawless. But it's also amazing mixed in with kind of BB creams and tinted moisturisers just to give them a little bit more coverage and a little bit more of a flawless kind of finish. One product this foundation does remind me of is the Chanel Matte Lumiere foundation which I was in love with about four years ago now and it got discontinued and I was quite heartbroken because it was just my favourite foundation of all time and this is incredibly similar but I think about £23 cheaper which is amazing so if you have oily to normal skin I would definitely recommend picking this up. I don't think it's one for dry skins but normal to oily skins will get along with this fine and it's just an absolute bargain and I love it. And then my final foundation favourite is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturising Photo Edition Foundation. Lots of people have been going on about the oil free version of this this month because the Silk Cream Foundation has been reformulated and they've done it in kind of two sets so you have your moisturising edition and then the oil free. I tried Silk Cream a couple of years ago and at first I really really liked it and then my skin got a bit more dry and I really couldn't get on with it anymore so I'm really glad that they've done a moisturising version of it because it is so lovely on my skin it just sits perfectly it just looks amazing it looks amazing on camera in real life I just absolutely love it. For me this sits between the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and NARS Sheer Glow in terms of finish and coverage, if you mix the two together I think this would kind of be the result you would get. The only thing about this foundation that I feel really lets it down is the shade range because I really struggled to find a colour match, it was so so difficult. And I also found that the shade ranges in the oil free range, even though they had the same names, differed in colour which was really confusing and just made picking a shade really really difficult for me. So because of that I would definitely advise buying in store with this one rather than buying online because I feel like you could be really easily disappointed with your colour match if you do that. But aside from that I love it and I'm currently on the hunt for a drugstore dupe for those of you who can't afford this one. I am searching 
everywhere to try and find the closest match I can for you so keep your eyes peeled for a drugstore dupes video. My next favourite is the Soap and Glory Solar Powder and I have been absolutely loving this this month. This is 100% the best drugstore bronzer I have ever tried. I'm just using it at the moment over my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. It's just a beautiful bronzer. It has kind of a a matte finish on me I would say. It kind of looks like it has a little bit of shimmer in it every so often but it definitely doesn't translate onto the skin and I just love the fact that it has two kind of shades as well so if you're incredibly pale you can just use one side but I just prefer a mix of both of them and it just leaves the most beautiful finish and a really nice sun-kissed glow and I absolutely love it. My next favourite is a fragrance and I'm quite particular about fragrances so there's very rarely a new addition to my collection but this month I've been absolutely loving the Jo Malone Birch and Black Pepper Cologne which is just absolutely gorgeous. It's part of their Rock of Ages collection that came out I think a month or two ago. I'm not 100%. I am really awful remembering release dates but this is just the most beautiful scent. It's kind of definitely smells really peppery and a bit floral and it's just beautiful. It's a really unique scent and I don't have anything else like this in my collection. It is just absolutely gorgeous and the bottle is beautiful as well. I just love the kind of monochrome pattern that's on the lid. I think it's gorgeous. I'm really loving Jo Malone scents at the moment so if you are on the hunt for something new I would definitely recommend giving this one a try. And next up I have some drugstore lip product favourites for this month and I'm going to give you a few seconds just to guess what you think they might be and pop it down in the comments if you got it right. I have just been obsessed with the Bourjois Rouge Edition Aquilax, which I find really hard to say for one, why would you give a product such a long name? It just kills me every time. But these are just the most beautiful liquid kind of lipstick stains. I use them more as a stain because I just don't think that they work as a very liquidy wet lipstick. But the colour range is so beautiful and I just love these so much and the packaging is also gorgeous. I was really pleased that Bourjois came out with these because I really didn't get on with the Rouge Edition Velvet. So to have something similar but just that my lips actually feel comfortable in is so much nicer and these are just absolutely beautiful and I love them so definitely check those out if you are on the hunt for something very spring and summer like and very comfortable and pretty on your lips. And then we have a mascara favourite of mine and you will have noticed the change in mascara this month if you've been keeping an eye on the info box but I have been loving the Erin Lengthening and Volumising Mascara. This is just my favourite mascara of all time. I'm going to put it down and say that because that is a bold claim but I absolutely adore this. It makes my lashes really lengthened and volumised. It's really not lying on the packaging but it also just gives them a really beautiful kind of fluttery look and makes them look very natural and just kind of builds lashes where you didn't know you had them. It kind of just catches every single one and makes them look really full and just absolutely gorgeous. It looks so pretty and fluttery. So I absolutely love this. I will 100% repurchase this when it runs out. I'm not sure if I have a mini because the tube is really, really tiny, but I kind of like that because it just makes it easier to travel with. Anyway, 100% repurchasing this. I just absolutely love it. And finally, we have an eyeshadow favourite and I think I featured this in my new in spring beauty kind of video that I did at the beginning of the month. I think it was the beginning of the month. I'm not even really sure anymore. This is the Clarence Ombre Iridescent Eyeshadow and it is a beautiful kind of pressed pigment eyeshadow. I think that's what I want to call it. And I have the shade 01 Aquatic Rose and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very similar to MAC All That Glitters but just even more pigmented, even more shimmery, just way, way more pretty and I absolutely love this. And the packaging is also absolutely beautiful. It's got a rose gold lid and I'm totally all over that. So that is it for my April beauty favourites. I hope you guys like this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm going to go and attempt to film a non-beauty favourites now, so keep an eye out for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <clears throat> Eight, I'm really white, I can't tell. I feel like I can't see anything. And that is it. What am I doing? What have you, uh, ha, 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 ha. It's been a bit, uh, nail polish. Uh, I have been in, uh, and then my nail, uh, where it's the, uh, uh, very, very watery. Uh, I'm still really sleepy. Uh.